Hello everybody, it is Cremone again here for uh, Awkward Nerd Gaming, and uh, as promised, I said I would take a look at building a combo deck. Uh, this one is a little bit different than what I have been doing. Take some uh, ideas out of that treasure deck that I made, plus some uh, of my, f my favorite explorer. So we're going to throw this out here. I obviously can't create this deck just yet to do any testing with. I'm just using the new system that they're allowing where you can build decks without having them all, all the cards for them. So this is uh, what we're working with. It's going to be Golgari in green black. And uh, this combo is designed to give lots of option here <laughs> this is the easiest way I can say it is the options um, rounding out the deck to start with we have four land of war elves which of course always great for uh, green acceleration and for any uh, two color deck with green uh, next we have our Blood bloodfast and this is a two cost legendary enchantment and you can pay one black one generic or one colorless you know what i'm just going to keep calling it generic because that's what i'm used to so whatever and pay two life you draw a card at the beginning of your upkeep if you have five or less life you may transform it and it becomes temple of aklazots uh, which is a legendary land you can tap for a black or tap and sacrifice a creature you gain life equal to its toughness you I'll be honest, <laughs> the way this deck runs, you shouldn't, or, or the way this deck's designed, you shouldn't have too many problems keeping yourself above five life, so you're not going to be using uh, the temple very much. It's primarily to give you extra draw power for this deck, so we'll continue on here. Uh, all right. Next, cast down for good <coughs> removal, and also murder for more removal. And then next four reassembling skeletons on this one you can return from your graveyard to the battlefield tap for two which is a big part of this combo uh we're running wild growth walker and that's because anytime a creature you control explores you put a one one counter on it and gain three life so with these in play argyle's blood fast should not be triggering you to go to that lower life <laughs> so kind of counteracts that uh, up next, we have uh, the Ruthless Knave, and this one is 3 cost, 3-2 three, Orc Pirate, for 1 black, 2, uh, two generic, sack a creature, uh, create 2 tre uh, treasure tokens, and you can sacrifice 3 treasures to draw a card. Uh, then we have our Jade Light Ranger, our Wayward Sword Tooth, so you can play additional lands during your turns. And also with the treasure deck, it shouldn't be that hard to get uh, the city's blessing as well. So uh, then we have our Pitiless Plunderer, uh, and it's a four cost one four human pirate. Whenever another creature you control dies, create a treasure token. And then we have Path of Discovery, which whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, it explores. So. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and round out. Uh, we have seven swamps, seven forests, four of the grown tomb, four woodland cemetery. Okay. Now that we've done that, I do not have a sideboard for this deck yet. I just want to tell you that. This is the whole deck right now. Um, so the combo is um, Path of Discovery with Wild Growth Walker. Uh, so any creature that comes into play will grant you additional, or will grant it an additional 1-1 one, one counter, and you gain 3 life with the Explorer. And that stacks, of course, so we can run that. Then we have our Pitiless Plunderer in play, and our Ruthless Knave in play. So you have 4 cards in play. Unfortunately, it's a five card combo, so it's a little bit rough. I do apologize about that, but I mean, I couldn't really figure out another way to make this really worthwhile. So, the wild growth is going to help keep you alive as long as I do not get rid of it. 
uh, which is why there are four of them in here. Uh, same with the skeletons, and same with the knaves. Basically, every key card for this deck has a four, except for Path of Discovery. Um, decided that it wasn't necessary to have four of that one. And the same with the Bloodfast. So, here's the combo. We have Wild Growth in play. We have Path of Discovery in play. We have a Pitiless Plunderer and a Ruthless Knave. Then we get ourselves a, a Reassembling Skeleton into play. We pay the three to sack it to create two tokens, or two treasure tokens, and then we'll create an additional one with Pitiless Plunderer. So that gives us three. We can use two of them to bring back the Reassembling Skeleton, and then we'll have one resting. Now when the skeleton comes back into play, you're going to get Path of Discovery's Exile ability, or sorry, Explore ability, which will trigger the Wild Growth Walker. This will give you three life and a 1-1 counter on the Wild Growth Walker. And now mind you, that's only one copy of each of these. Now if you have multiple copies of any of these in play, say you have two Pitiless Plunderers uh, and a Ruthless Knave and two Wild Growth Walkers and an Assembling Skeleton, which can happen. But, uh, I'm not saying they can't. They It's very easy to for some decks to get a lot of creatures or depending on how your opponent's deck's going. And uh, so basically, if you have more than one Wild Growth Walker in play, you're going to gain a ton of life really, really quickly. They're going to get pumped really, really high. Um, and then, of course, we're going to keep bringing back Reassembling Skeleton by sacking it off with the Ruthless Knave to create two tokens. We'll get a third one for... Uh, we'll get an additional one for every Pitiless Plunderer in play. Uh, plus, we're going to have the Land of War Elves for additional mana casting... Uh, for casting the Wayward Sword Tooth so it can drop more lands to play. If we need to, we can sacrifice three treasures to draw a card, uh, just to keep speeding the deck along. Um, we have, yeah, basically the whole combo is you keep building, uh, you keep using your exploring with wild growth, keep getting to uh, uh, sorry, treasure tokens. Now. Obviously, the most efficient way to do this would be to have three pitiless plunderers in play and do it that way. That way, every time you sack off the skeleton, you have every bit of the mana you need to keep doing the combo. Because then you'll pay, you'll sacrifice three uh, treasures to activate the ability to sacrifice the raised assembling skeleton. You'll create two from uh, two treasure tokens from him, and three more from this, uh, from having the Pitiless Plunderer in play. Um, then you just keep doing it, gaining life, uh, getting these Wild Growth Walkers pumped up really high, uh, constantly exploring, being able to manipulate what's on top, what's you know, what's coming up. Uh, also, the uh, just making these things really powerful um, that's kind of the whole concept of this deck plus again you'll be gaining a lot of life so using any additional uh, mana you have you can always use the blood fast to uh, draw more cards um, and yeah that that's kind of the combo I've come up with so far guys I in uh, in limited, meaning in, in standard, this combo is really hindered. If I take it to modern um, and try to work with it that way, I'm pretty sure I can get it to go a lot further. And I mean a lot further. This could be a really potent uh, combination. Again, I kind of have to go back uh, through, and because modern has so many cards... I have to really research this one and maybe I'll come up with a uh, modern version of this deck and show it off. Of course it'll have to be um, in a um, 
I'm trying to think what are the newest cards for this that would not be in that available for the deck build. I'll be. Okay, so actually guys, I can, um, with what I currently have here, I have another program called uh, MTG Forge. It's a third party app that I'll probably be using. And I may try to come up with a modern version of this deck on there to see how it runs, uh, given what I'm trying to do here with what I can pull from modern to try to get it to go a lot further than it currently would. But all in all, uh, in my opinion, which may matter, may not matter, <laughs> this is actually going to be a fun combo deck. This one... The biggest problem will be getting the Pitiless Plunderers out, uh, which any um, early build-up from the Ruthless Knave Reassembling Skeleton will give you the mana that you need for the Plunderers. Um, basically, any part of this deck can actually work uh, in combination without much else, giving you some ability to do things. Um, I, I don't know, I just kind of really like the thought of this deck, so I'm really wanting to try to get this one finished. Uh, as you can see, I am four uncommons away from finishing this deck, um, really wanting to finish it badly. So <laughs> we're, uh, we're going to work on that um, sometime here during the next couple weeks, try to get this all dealt with uh, to get where I can get this actually finished. And then, um, then we'll see where we're at. We'll see how it runs. I'm all, and I will be working on the uh, modern version of this deck. Um, luckily, with the Forge program, in order to see how it runs, I, it does not require me having um, uh, the actual like uh, an actual collection because it's just from a full list of available cards where you can just design your decks and test them. So. Anyway, guys and gals, don't want to forget that. Uh, this did have Font of Agonies in it, where whenever you pay life, you put that many blood counters on it, and you can pay two black or one black, one generic, or remove four blood counters from it, destroy target creature. I was going to keep that in there. I may tweak this around to where I can still get those in there. Um, don't know what I really could cut down. Um, well, you know what? Uh, we'll go ahead and throw a third one in there. And now I'm at 63. So what would I be able to cut down? Okay. If I cut down one reassembling skeleton. One pitiless plunderer and yeah, oh, wow, this one kind of hurts me a little bit. Um, actually, I don't this deck really doesn't require the Jade Light Ranger. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add uh, that, that back. And that back. And you know what? We're back to, to the full. All right. So there we go. Change on the fly. Okay. We're now running Font of Agonies. And this one, whenever you pay life, you put that many blood counters on it. Remove four blood counters on it. Uh, pay one black, one colorless. Destroy target creature. Now with the Argyle's Blood Fast, you're going to be paying life to draw cards. So that's no little aspect to the deck. There we go. We have another combo in the deck, uh, which can run. I mean, it's going to need the blood fast to really work effectively. Uh, but it's another one drop. Alters the, you know, the whole play a little bit. And as you can see, the mana curve is really low. The highest cast is four. So... 
I'm hoping that this will be a little bit of fun. You know, this is going to have a little bit more black than green now, so we're going to actually drop down. Let's drop two. Mm, no, let's. There we, er, there we go. We'll go to eight swamp six force instead of seven seven. Okay. There we go. And there's a little tweaking on the go. Okay, guys. So, anyway. Hope you guys like the video. Thank you for hanging out. And. It, I hope this gives you some new ideas for combos, especially in standard that are going right now. This one is more for fun. could be very brutal, but um, this is not designed to be an absolute uh, like victory deck. Most combo decks are insanely hard to pull off as a tier one. There have only been a handful throughout the uh, the history of magic that are actual combo decks for it um but let's you know we're gonna see how this works you need to get another rare now and four uncommons to finish this one off and then test it so anyway guys thank you for hanging out seriously and uh appreciate everybody that does view these videos uh Hopefully it gives you some new ideas, uh, and if you did enjoy it, please remember to leave a like down below. That really helps me out uh, to let me know what you guys want to see more of. And also, uh, feel free to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to let you know when I'm uploading, because I am uploading a lot, so hopefully it'll be stuff you want to see because I do enjoy making videos for you guys. And as always, I will catch you in the next one. Later, everybody.